I would follow up on a couple of issues on hub zones, uh, which I have been a strong proponent of, although last year I did urge GAO's recommendations to follow up with greater oversight and transparency in this program. I, I truly did have some concerns that ultimately manifested itself in a recent report that was issued in the Wall Street Journal. What was troubling about it is that the SBA had failed, in essence, to monitor this program. I mean, you know, people weren't located at specific addresses. There were non-certified hub zone firms. Um, and um, lack of uh, SBA internal controls to verify business information, uh, no on-site visits, the list goes on. And so what I would urge you to do is to really look at that report and to quickly implement and adopt those recommendations because, um, I, you know, otherwise it's going to jeopardize uh, this program. Uh, on the other side of the Capitol, there are those who are opposed and would like to remove the program altogether. I see a value to it, uh, frankly, for high unemployment areas and that they can utilize the federal contracting process if they're certified hub zones. Uh, but this report was deeply troubling, and so I think we've got to address the flaws in this program and making sure that SBA, you know, has has the type of controls to monitor that. Yes. Well, this report was was of great concern, and I promise you that we will look at it immediately. Yeah, and you know, it, what was interesting as well in this this article, it raised the specter of you know the ability of SBA to monitor the stimulus provisions. And, uh, in fact, uh, so that, I think, is something that we want to really be, uh, I think, uh, on top of with respect to having the types of oversight management of all of these uh, programs uh, because they're raising the question as to whether or not it would be possible in the numerous programs that would benefit small business making sure that there is that kind of oversight. On government-wide contracting. You know, consistently, again, uh, government agencies that failed to live up to the 23% goal came in the 22% last year has already, you know, been mentioned. But it is a pretty abysmal picture about agencies. And when you talk about one of your three goals, uh, which are absolutely right on target, uh, to work across agencies, this is one area where you truly can. Uh, because they're required to meet a statutory goal, and repeatedly the agencies have failed to do it. And 50 procuring federal agencies in 2000 alone, they failed to meet the 5% goal. Department of Defense, well, they have just about the worst record. Um, they spend less than 3% of the $269 billion. They're eligible for small business uh, procurement dollars. And so what we've got to do is to make sure that these agencies are living up to the statutory requirements. If you look at the uh, goals that are required under law, um, the only one that has been fulfilled has been small, uh, small business disadvantaged businesses up to they're now 6.6%. Women owned, hub zones, service disabled have not been. In fact, it's been eight long years uh, just to get the implementation of women owned businesses. And they finally did come out with a rule last year that fell far short um, of expectations, limited to a few categories for women owned businesses. So it was de minimis and it simply wasn't going to work. So we put a hold in all those rules in the stimulus plan, as you probably know, because they weren't, they weren't good enough mm -hmm. and does not fairly reflect what they need to do in the commitment. So I would urge you to use all of your you know, leadership and uh, power within your agency to work across um, the lines and making sure they live up to those goals. Because when you think about the potential, for contracting, for example, uh, an SBA estimate of $140,000 contracting um, creates a job. And last year, if you think about the number of contracting dollars that went out in prime and subprime and still falling below the level, they were able to save, uh, create 1.1 million jobs. So this is money that is going to be spent by the federal government. It's not as if we have to spend more. It's making sure these agencies do their jobs and uphold their, their statutory obligations. So using your voice and persuasive powers will be truly instrumental, I think, in creating jobs, and particularly in high unemployment areas. 